Welcome to another ASW Tech Talk, brought to you by Atlanta Soundworks. This is Developing an Engineering Ear for Audio, and I'm Dave Gill. When we talk about pitch, we're using a musical term. When we talk about cycles per second or hertz, we're using an audio term. Audio is more precise than uh, music, meaning that if we have 1760 hertz, that is a high A. But if it's a few cycles above or below that, it's still considered a high A. It's just not perfect pitch. As an audio engineer, I want you to be able to equate pitch to a certain frequency and relate to that so that you can use that in reducing reverberation and feedback to enhance tonal quality of microphones when working with instruments and to improve intelligibility of speech. The adjustments are made in the EQ section of the mixing board, and we'll be dealing with this in a subsequent tech talk. When pitch rises, frequency rises. Frequency rises exponentially with pitch, so that as frequency doubles, we go up one octave. So from 80 hertz to 160 hertz, we've gone up one octave. But from 8,000 hertz, we have to go to 16,000 hertz to go up one octave. The range of human hearing is generally considered to be 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz, and that is 10 octaves. To learn to recognize frequencies, it's easiest if you can relate to something you already know. If you played in a band or a symphony, you might recognize concert pitch. That's 440 hertz. That's the A above middle C. If you played the piano, you might recognize 261.6 hertz, which is middle C. When I was a young man, uh, 233 hertz was ingrained in my brain because I played trombone and we had to play the B flat tuning note at the beginning of every session. If you play guitar, the top string is low E and that's 82.4 hertz. The first string or the bottom string is 329.6 hertz. If you can begin to recognize that tone and say that's approximately 330 hertz, one octave higher is 660 hertz, you now have a reference to begin working. Over the years, I've seen a lot of technicians playing the game, what's that pitch? And they'll play a tone through the sound system, and the people in the room will try to guess what was the frequency. For example, if you heard this, that's 1,000 hertz. Or this, the very commonly used 450 hertz. And this, it's 4,000 hertz. And again, you use that in adjusting speech and tonal quality of microphones. Thank you for watching. This has been another ASW Tech Talk brought to you by Atlanta Soundworks.